I mean, new markets are obviously full of promises. Um, we, we were mentioning both China and India, with, well, both of them make almost half uh, the people of the world. So it's certainly extremely important for, for all the wine producers. Um, so far, India is still a very limited market, but I think it certainly has uh, a great future, not short term, but probably long term future. China has already yielded some extraordinary results um, and has developed extremely fast uh, since the last seven, eight years only. China has erupted in the wine world. Chinese people are now avid to buy wine. It's true that wine goes very well with their food. These people have, have a very long tradition of eating very well and of drinking as well. So um, it's just wonderful. I think the market is indeed global, but I don't think that there has been still the emergence of a global taste. When you travel to either North America or China or Japan or obviously Europe, you find different tastes um, because there is a different tradition of wine drinking, there are different traditions, uh, gastronomic traditions. So I think there is still room for different styles of wine, which, which I think is just wonderful because there is, it's that diversity which is the richness of the world of wine. Basically, we have the, the huge advantage to have started not only making wine, because you have started making wine before. We've probably started to seek excellence uh, very early. In the case of Bordeaux or Burgundy, for example, since we started uh, some, seriously some 500 years ago, uh, the first aim was try to achieve excellence, not just produce wine for, for the local people to drink but try to achieve excellence to export on, on very demanding markets and, and trying to, to respect the consumer and listen to the consumer as well. Well, as many other uh, um, difficult periods we had in the past, um, we live today in a world where um, it seems that so many new things happen because we have a very short memory. Things have changed all the time. We had so many ups and downs, even in my own career, which goes back a bit more than 30 years. I do remember very well uh, three, four difficult periods and then ups and downs. That's life. That would, that would, we have to accept it. Um, there are sometimes unfair reasons, sometimes very good reasons why uh, there is a down period, but we have to accept it. And, and without uh, such down periods, there would be lesser incentive to change and to make progress. So it's very healthy for us. Uh, it, it makes, it, it raises new questions. Challenge is, is, to, is, to, is to try to produce wines um, whose quality meets the, the, the expectations of, of our customers. This is, this is the key. We, we have extraordinary competitive advantages uh, to achieve a, a great level of excellence. These qualities have to meet the expectations of new customers. Some people will be prepared to pay very high prices for exceptional wines. But also, maybe the same people, or, or so many other people, um, are, are so happy to buy a, a good bottle of wine. Uh, my wife and I share a bottle of wine every day and we, and, and we are happy to find uh, 5, 10, 15 uh, euros, dollars, which are, of course, more simple, but very pleasant to drink.